Hey and welcome back to Through the Years. In this series, we take a look at the month's chosen pay-per-view, pick out a handful of our favourite women's matches to ever take place at that pay-per-view and simulate them in the 2K engine. This weekend's pay-per-view is of course Money in the Bank and was originally established back in 2010. Over the next week, we'll be simulating matches with a range from its very first pay-per-view all the way up to present day. If there's a favourite match of yours we haven't included in our list, be sure to let us know in the comments below and let us know what your favourite women's match is to ever take place at this pay-per-view. Also, don't forget to check out our official website www.therevolution.co.uk for all the latest news surrounding this month's chosen pay-per-view. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from New York, the Queen. Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's top names ready to go here. Oh man, Michael, six man matches like this always remind me of world class back in the 1980s. From London, England, Laura. As we get ready to go here, Byron, I understand you've done a little research as it relates to these two teams. Believe it or not, Michael, there are rumors circulating the locker room that both these teams have issues when it comes to being on the same page. So it'll be interesting to see if that comes to fruition at some point here tonight. Women's division, I hope you're ready for a fight. Tamina is a scary woman. And their partner from Pacific Islands, Tamina. That is a scary human being. The Hall of Famer, Beth Phoenix, a true pioneer. And their opponents, first, from Buffalo, New York, the Glamazon, Beth Phoenix. Without question, one of the best, most purest natural athletes we have ever seen in WWE. And from Denver, Colorado, E. Torres. Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's top names ready to go here. Oh man, Michael, six man matches like this always remind me of world class back in the 1980s.
and their partner from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalia. Product of the Hart family dungeon carrying on the legacy of the legendary Hart family in sports entertainment. Natalia always ready to handle things inside the ring. Now the daughter of Jim the Animal Nightheart, the niece of WWE Hall of Famer Brett the Hitman Hart. Got the power of her father and the finesse of her uncle. Maybe the most respected superstar in the entire women's division. Big match here as we kick off this three-on-three -three contest. You have competitors on the level of these women. You just know it's going to be a great match. What's up? Oof. Vertical suplex. Nice. Ah, oh, right across the back of the neck. Handle finds the mark. Big elbow. She's on the defensive now. When she agreed to this match, she knew this oh, wasn't man. going to be easy. You sound surprised, Cole. Come on. Think about who she's in there with. This was bound to happen sooner or later. Tag made. What's in store here? Drop toe hold. Oh, and it's Zagari. Beginning to look bad for her here. She's got two very capable partners in her corner. Now might be a good time to bring one of them in. She's looked off her game almost all night here, guys. And to be honest, I'm a little surprised. What a clothesline! Something that is always important in a six-man match is having the ability to perform double-team moves. One of the things that successful six-man teams try and execute are double-team moves and then have the third team member perform a signature or finishing maneuver to deliver maximum impact to an opponent. Teamwork is always paramount in a six-man tag match. Superstars want to be able to have a level of teamwork where two members of the trio perform a double team move and the third member follows that up with a move so their opponent is really down for the count. The key is to deliver the maximum amount of punishment to your opponent in the least amount of time. You have until the referee's count of five. It's not like you have all day in the ring, but if your team of three can deliver that type of offense, your trio will be in good shape. Six-man tag team matches have been a staple of competition since the early days of sports entertainment. Two teams of three compete against one another under traditional tag team rules. Stipulations can be added like no disqualification, two out of three falls, elimination, falls count anywhere, or whatever else someone can think of. Matches can also be held in a caged environment. Six-man tags can be fought under so many different types of stipulations. Teams can be part of a faction. The three superstars have aligned because of a common interest. The most crucial aspect to a six- She's looking at it. I don't think this is going to do it. Whoa, impressive. You could say that again. I never thought she'd break free from that one. I'm not so sure Natalia should be strutting around like this. 
At least not yet. Hard landing there. Nothing to worry about, just a little misstep on her part. When a superstar is in a six-man match, one of the most important things to remember is knowing when to tag out and get the fresh member of your team in the ring. We've talked about continuity many times on this program, but it's more than that. You don't want to try to do too much when you have other members of your team out there. Oh man, she's rolling now. Corey, you spoke about when a superstar is in six-man action and how crucial it is that they have the presence of mind to realize when they need to tag out. Not everyone who competes as part of a six-man team has the ability to do that. We've seen many times over the years that a superstar's inability to do that has cost their team the match. We've also seen over the years she might have it. This might be it! Oh, my! Gets the tag. And Beth Phoenix might be in some trouble here. Though we've seen her come back from worse in the past. Yeah, but we all know that she can dish it out just as well as she can take it. And with that in mind, I wouldn't be surprised to see her turn the tides here shortly. High impact crossbody. And Beth Phoenix was able to get out of danger there. Technique. Oh, what a splash. Beth Phoenix kicks out with ease. Just power out. This isn't going to be Prince Hangman's neck break. Oh, gosh. She goes for the cover. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. Harsh impact. Ooh, what impact on the shoulders here. And it could be a long way down from there. What a scary drop. She dodges that one. She comes up big with a reversal. Oh, what impact. In off the tag. In 2016, the New Day found themselves in the middle of a sick and twisted rivalry with the Wyatt family. Things escalated to the point where Bray Wyatt invited the new day. Come here! Let's take a quick look at that again. That could be it, Michael. Oh, Beth Phoenix ate all of that one. The cover. Oh, how resilient was that? I'm wow. having a hard time believing that one. Oh, slam with authority. Corey, we've talked about six-man tag matches, and earlier you talked about one that caught the attention of the entire sports entertainment world. The New Day fought for survival amongst the darkness of the Wyatt family compound in a battle where pickaxes and cinder blocks were used as weapons and automobiles were used as battering rams. The New Day versus the Wyatts at the Wyatt family compound was not your traditional six-man tag match, but it showed what can happen when issues between factions can't be resolved through a sanctioned WWE match. I'll tell you what, none of the men who fought in that conflict will ever be the same. Thanks to Raw General Manager Kurt Angle in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined forces with the Lunatic Fringe Dean Ambrose. The exciting trio took... She's clearly not getting paid by the hour. She's looking to get out of here with a win early. Gonna take a whole lot more. She's got the skill and the stamina to really do some damage here. Byron... It's not very often you see six superstars of this caliber competing at the same time. She's not in very good shape at all right now. This may very well be the beginning of the end for her. You know, when you step into the ring opposite three of the most dominant women on the roster today, things like this are bound to happen. She looks shocked right now, guys. I don't think in her wildest dreams she thought she would be in this position right now. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Here we go, inverted DDT! Fight! We know what's coming here! 
Oh, continuing to punish them. Natalia looks like she's down and out. This could spell the beginning to the end for her here in this six-man tag team match. Oh, man, I don't know about you guys, but it doesn't seem to me like she has any clue where she is right now. Well, her chances certainly are looking low. She escapes the stretch. You sound surprised, Cole. Come on, there's no way she was going to tap to that. There are instances when a six-man tag match will feature a team where superstars have not always seen eye to eye or are in the midst of a disagreement. When that's the case, someone on the team must step up and be the voice of reason so the trio can function as a cohesive unit. <laughs> Corey, earlier you talked about what needs to happen when members of a six-man team have differences or had differences in the past. If the team can't find a way to get on the same page, they will not last very long. Someone on the team has to step up and make sure for at least that match, everyone on the team can work together. Now that's easier said than done. Just because superstars might be favorites of the WWE Universe or have a common enemy, that doesn't mean they'll get along. It also doesn't mean that any past issues were looking for a repeat. When she gets in attack mode, look out. Something that is always important. Move salt! That was beautiful. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh, this is dangerous right here. Just tossed. She got airline miles for that. Trust me, if you're a WWE superstar, this is not where you want to be. Oh, and she makes the tag. And not a moment too soon, Michael. Teamwork is always paramount in a six-man tag match. Superstars want to be able to have a level of teamwork where two members of the trio perform a double flip. One more time. Why not? And she's knocked off her feet. I think that one caught her by surprise. Here's a cover. One, two. Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. Well, Natalia uses every bit of the strength she has left to survive. Ooh, what impact. Natalia says, not this time. In comes Tamina. This might be it. Oh, my. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. And it's Natalia with the reversal. Back in from the apron. Harsh impact. And it's Natalia with the reversal. What an all-star ensemble in the ring right now. Six of WWE's most successful competitors for sure. Looking defenseless right now. She's got to get back in the ring, Michael. She's a live wire right now. Get out of her way. Tamina's feeling good about herself. We'll see if it lasts. She's playing with fire here. Yeah, she's got to hurry up and get back in there. She wants to do this in the ring. Looking at Natalia strikes with Natty by nature. She goes for the cover. And she kicks out with relative ease. She's still in this one. Wisely bringing the action back into the ring. Here we go. The Super Kick takes her down. Wow. Nice move right there. I think we're about to see a high risk move from the top rope. She's looking at it. Oh, what a splash. What a six man tag match. A lot of good action in that one. Here's another look. Remember this? Who could forget this? Look at her go.
She left it all in the ring, and I expected nothing less. Here are your winners, the Queen. Tamina, with the finishing touches on this one. Wow, when you pick up a pinfall victory over somebody like that, you've done something right. The action we see each and every year at Money in the Bank simply never ceases to amaze me.